All right, check it out, friends. This is the last trailer hitch that you'll ever need. Have you ever heard that phrase, someone say, I'd rather take a trailer hitch to the shin than to fill in the blank? Well, this has a tow and stow feature that you're gonna wanna check out so you can avoid that from happening. So to find out more, stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. All right, we're gonna take a close look at this B&W hitch right here. This is amazing. It's American made, has a limited lifetime warranty and some other features. Let's get a closer look. So I think what would work best is for me to take just one quick minute to point out all the features and then I will demonstrate how this works on my four x four. So this has three different shank sizes. I have a two inch and all the trucks that I've owned in the past have had a two inch, but you can get also a two and a half and a three inch, a real heavy duty. So there's two different holes right there so you can adjust the depth of the hitch according to your towing vehicle. And this particular model I have has a five inch adjust to it. And then you can also adjust it in one inch increments. So depending on what type of trailer you have and the height of it, you can get this lined up so you have a nice level ride. And then you have some option of different towing balls. So I went with the one that has a two inch and a two and five sixteenths. You can also get this three-way one that also includes a one and seven eighths. And the finish on here is a two-step finish. It's an e-coat and a black powder coat. It provides corrosion protection inside and out. And you can also get this entire thing in chrome if you want. So as I mentioned right here, you can save your shins. So if you're not towing with this, you can stow it underneath the vehicle when in use. And I'll show you that in a second. And then the towing balls here, they have a two-step plating that helps prevent corrosion. So if you wanna know more about the company, I'll provide a link down below to their website. And just so you know, they started in 1987. So they have been doing this a long time, perfecting the trailer towing hitch right here. You know, it's interesting, I was going through my garage recently and cleaning some shelves and I came across some hitches that I had and some have like a two inch ball, some have different drops to them because we have a minivan, we have a, this SUV right here. At one time I had a pickup truck, a four x four, but I don't have it right now. I think I'm gonna get another one though. I really miss having a truck. But what I like about this hitch right here, it's adjustable, it's all in one. So what we're gonna do real quick, I'm gonna show you how long it takes in real time to make the adjustment. So sometimes I'm going to rent something from my local equipment place. Uh, a lot of times I'll get a wood splitter. Sometimes I'll get a wood chipper. There have been some other things that I've rented too, like some bobcats, some skid steers and things and use their trailers. So I'm gonna show you how long it takes to change this from one size ball to the other, how to raise it and lower it. So just a minute ago, you see my landscape trailer. It's a tandem axle trailer. And those tend to always have a two and five sixteenths ball. But I'm gonna be renting a wood splitter here pretty soon. And that requires a two inch ball. So if I wanna switch this to that, all it requires taking this pin right here, turning that, and then right there. So how long did that take right there? And then let's say the wood splitter needs to go down two inches. So let's see how long it takes. All you do is take these two pins out right here and you can lower this in two inch increments. So right there, I'm not even rushing but you can just see how long that takes. So I have a question I'd like you to answer down below. Have you ever taken a trailer hitch to the shin? And if so, is there like a certain circumstance where you've done that? The one that I can think of is we used to do a lot of camping and a lot of times, you know, the campsites are pretty small and let's say you're towing something like a boat or a trailer, travel trailer or something like that. In a campground situation at night, the lighting's not really that great. So as you're trying to walk around your campsite, there's probably a good chance that you could run into a hitch like that. So now I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to 
throw this trailer ball away so you don't hit yourself in the shin with it. All right, ready? Here we go. So it's easiest to turn this first in that position. Oh, hey, Leo. <laughs> and then you take these two pins out right here. And what's nice is you can let that go all the way down right there. Nothing falls off. It stays contained. And then you just raise that up to the height that you want. I think it's easiest probably to put the top pin in first so you can see it. All right, there. See, that's really quick. All right, now let's see how fast we can turn it around and have a two and five sixteenths ball all the way at the top. Ready, go. I'm gonna try to rush a little bit on this one. There, just like that, we're ready to go. Just want to show you a couple things in case you want to know a little bit more about the company. So this is really cool. They say they insist on American-made steel, like steel sheets we buy from the U.S. Steel out of Gary, Indiana, or a round bar that becomes the gooseneck ball made in Norfolk, Nebraska. You can put it in the inverted position to give you even more versatility. So what I like about this is the adjustable arm of the hitch can't be removed. So for the anti-theft design, you just need that locking pin right there. So here's some guides right here to help you know what you can haul. So if you're towing with a clevis, you can get this accessory right here that will go on the hitch. And I think this added touch is awesome. They provide some white lithium grease so you can lubricate and protect your hitch. And it shows you where to apply the grease on your pin. And this is their building facility, 497,000 square feet, and they have 425 employee owners. And they have a trailer system for motorcycles like this, so go to bwtrailerhitches.com for that. And then they also include a sticker right here, which I think is awesome. So I'm gonna put that on my wall. All right, friends, so I hope this video has helped you learn more about this tow and stow trailer hitch. If you wanna learn more about it, see the awesome reviews, I will have a Amazon link down below that you can check out. And there you'll see all types of reviews and answers and questions. So my goal of this video is to put this trailer hitch right here to the test so you can see if it's right for you in case you're considering the purchase of it. If you find this video to be helpful, interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.